Hello my loves, it is Yunos Makunos here and we are here for breakfast time together. So come, come, come hither child, come hither, go get yourself some coffee or some tea or some toast. I have many drinks, I have my healthy drink, my fun drink. Mm. Mm. Get that remote out of the way please, goodness. I feel like it's just not quite centre. So as I said before, we've got our nice coffee. Let me bring this over here. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I haven't had them so long. Mmm. Okay, so good. Okay, so on here, I have what to talk to you about. I know I've been gone for a too, too long time and I wanted to tell you what's been happening. I think it all began with the shingles that I got in the end of November, beginning of December 2023. Hello, this is Yunus McCunnels here. Uni McCuny, Yunus McCunnels. Okay, so here's the thing. This video was just so long. There's just so much to update you, so I separated out. I didn't like. So if you haven't seen like the birthday vlog kind of beginning part of this video, I will link it below. So go check that out because it's already out. And now this is the big long update that like no one really wants to see, but I felt like making it. So I made it for those who are truly interested in what's been happening. I thought when I when I made this video that shingles was what started it all off, didn't I? Well, actually it wasn't. It was actually before that. My mum ended up in hospital. She was on her way to Japan in an international airport and she got cherry unwell. And so she ended up in an emergency room, didn't she? <laughs> so that happened. Obviously that's very anxiety inducing. So we were quite worried. And then the, so the Japan trip had to get cancelled. And then on top of that, on the same day, the company I work for announced a massive company acquisition didn't they and they were like mm, yeah so that'll be happening in june 2024 and like yeah we don't know about the jobs so we can't guarantee you any like you know like your jobs basically and i was like oh that's just such great news to get on the same day that my mom ends up in hospital so that's what i think started it all off that was the snowball effect as they say you know so that happened and then what i'm about to tell you is then what happened okay so thank you so much for watching i'm gonna go back to editing now and i will see you cherry cherry soon love you long time and i'll see you soon okay bye well okay i didn't know i got shingles <laughs> because i had no idea what was going on what happened was one saturday right i felt this little scratch on my back right and i was and i felt it and i was like oh it's just like a one little pimple i was like oh okay yeah that will go in like a week and i scratched it and i was like mm, it's a bit sore like why is it so sore like the aftermath of the scratch when normally it feels good it was like it was like this burning pain sensation then i'm like wow my back is so itchy like why is it so itchy like this i wonder what's going on huh? Hmm. Like this, behind, right? I touched my back. I'm like, oh my god, when did I get 10,000 pimples on the back of my back? I was like, I've never had back acne before. I've had acne on my face here. Literally had to go on Accutane three times, but I never ever got it on my back. So I was like, man, this is so weird. What have I been doing to get back acne? I then leave it, kind of forget about it, except every time it got itchy, then I'd be like, oh, that's right, I have this thing. It comes to a Saturday, I have a look and I'm like, oh my god, like why is it all red and it looks like it's kind of been burst, but sort of not, like kind of looks like I've got a, I'll add a photo. I'm I'm like, mm, it'll be gone by weekend. It'll be fine. No problem. It'll be gone. Well, does it go away? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Does it? It's like, I better go to the doctor just in case. I'm like, miss, I have this like bang on my back. And I show her. She's like, oh my God, you have shingles. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I have shingles. Like, what does that mean? She's like, what? Do you not know what shingles are? Of course I know what. I've heard of shingles. I just don't know what it's meant to look like. Like, I don't know. I thought it was like, I don't know. I had no idea. She's like, I, have you not been in that much pain? I'm like, mm, not really. Like, it's sort of been itchy. And I itch it, it's really sore. And I said, but that's about it, you know? She's like, mm, well, I'll put you on antivirals. Have you been really stressed over work recently? And I'm like, what do you mean have I been stressed? Of course I'm stressed. Like, what kind of question even is that? I don't say that to her. I go, oh, yeah, I guess, 
yeah, I, your work has been like quite a lot recently and um, yeah, I haven't, you know, been doing as well as what I usually would. Well, she gives me antivirals, doesn't she? Do you know how big they are? <laughs> like, I'm pretty good at taking pills because I take them and I've been taking them since I was like 11. But these were so big. They were so massive. These are my current ones, not antivirals, my current mental one. Put these two together in terms of length and then put another two on the side and that was my antiviral that I had to take three times a day. So I took one that night, right? And then I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm like, oh my God, I feel like I literally, I feel like I'm about to vomit. Sitting there on the bed like, what, what? I never get up in the middle of the night. Why do I feel like I want to vomit? And then it subsides. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's fine. So I go back to bed. I sleep. I wake up. I'm meant to go into work. I cannot get out of bed. I feel like I've been hit by a bus. I literally could eat anything i didn't want coffee i didn't want anything i barely could have water speaking of thank you i was on the sofa literally sleeping the whole day i diarrhea five times i then finally call the nurse she was like oh you better stop taking those so i take about three by then i think and then she said i'll get the doctor to send one the doctor took two days to send in another prescription for a different type of antiviral and i had to end up having those wednesday thursday friday off so i had three days off work i finally got the new antivirals thankfully they didn't like i didn't get any bad side effects or reactions so i managed to take those so i had to take those antivirals four times a day for seven days my shingles has gone as a side note to that story the other update is that work i'm in this project right now that's been going since september i think i was so burnt out oh, i got butter on my glasses oh i made it worse Okay, it's better. And literally, I'm so tired from it. Like, I'm so over it. I'm over the project. I don't want to do it anymore in case someone from work is watching. Of course, I'm still going to do it. I'm just saying that I just really don't want to do it. But I'm still going to do it. But I don't really want to do it, you know? So I was so burnt out from work from this. So I can't wait for this project to be over and to go on to a more agile project next time. Oh, also, I was like, maybe we'll travel like a little bit of New Zealand. Me and Panda will travel around a little bit of New Zealand, right? And I was starting to look at prices and I gave up because it was so expensive. And I thought instead of traveling New Zealand for all this amount of money, I literally could just go to like Vietnam and get so much better of an experience, get more bang for my buck and go to a whole different country and, and see different people people and different culture and stuff like that so we booked a trip to Vietnam <laughs> to vietnam <laughs> to vietnam okay the reason why i'm laughing is because like with everyone is right now like money's a bit dying <laughs> but i was like i need to get away after the project ends so that's march so i said let's go in may and just pricing honestly i just couldn't justify going around new zealand because i'm not interested in going around new zealand okay i'm just not it's not that interesting for me okay but vietnam we've always wanted to go to since before the pandemic and we couldn't go because the pandemic happened so we're finally going to vietnam in may this year <laughs> But that means we have to be very careful with our money and save, save, save and not overspend, don't we? Oh, and then at the time, this is back in October, okay? So we've gone back a few months. So in October, I was like getting real excited to decorate the Christmas tree. And I was like, well, we're not going overseas, are we? So I might as well spend money getting this Christmas tree nice. So I got the Christmas tree out. This Christmas tree came with pre-lit lights. Well, the middle section was faulty wasn't it so the middle section didn't work last year so we only had the top bit and the bottom bit working and what we did last year when we put the christmas tree away was we just literally all of the lights out we were like fuck this shit i was like i'm just gonna redo it myself the Christmas tree came out end of October and then I started to decorate the Christmas tree the Martha Stewart method okay the Martha Stewart method is getting the light going all the way back to the branch wrapping every branch <laughs> And then wrap the next branch like this. Well, I was like, well, I'm not gonna do that, but I'll do the middle stalky bit. So I would go like this, right to the end. Da, 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 come back in. Next branch. Da, 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 da. Kind of come back in. Da, da. And I did that on a six foot Christmas tree. Do you know how long that took me? Also, George bit one of the lights that I'd already put on. So I had to take all that out and put new set of lights in. We spent about 200, no, 250 on that tree just for lights. So after that, I was like, do you know what? I'll get a couple more decorations, but I'm not getting decorations to fill the whole tree. So the, fill, the whole tree, like I don't have enough decoration for the whole tree. And that was back breaking, bending over and going like this and then going like this. But do you know what? It was like so worth it because the Christmas tree looks so beautiful. And I don't have to do it next year this year so it's, I started October I got the Christmas tree done and like mid-December it took that long so then then oh my god I don't know if you've noticed but with my ASMR I'm doing like a new style of ASMR videos 
doing kind of one theme videos and there's a reason to that which I won't tell you yet because of that I don't need all the props that I had anymore so I was like oh I'm gonna declutter my filming room right so I started to declutter it I donated as much as I could which was already kind of a nightmare because you had to organize people to come pick it up from your house so I managed to donate everything but then obviously I had the remnants left and I was like oh how am I going to tidy all of this and I was just so overwhelmed I couldn't do it literally I've only just finished tidying that room last weekend and I started decluttering in November so things have been taking like a really long time because I just haven't mentally been able to cope I think what it is, it's the butter and the uncle together. It's like what makes it taste really good. Mmm! 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 And then I got a craft table. <laughs> but the craft table is so big, it like barely fits. So I can only use two sides of it rather than like the four sides. I got it on Marketplace and, we, and it didn't really fit in the car and then we had to like rethink it out and then we had to go in hand and take it and put it all back together again and it was all okay. And then I had three mental breakdowns during the Christmas break. One on Christmas morning, I wasn't coping. One on, you know what, maybe it was only two. This whole time I keep thinking it's like three, but I think it might actually be two. I was being really anxious the whole time. I couldn't edit, I, could, I didn't want to edit, I couldn't film, I couldn't even really play games. I kind of just got a little bit obsessed with J-dramas, which is still continuing and it's really good and I, I do really enjoy it. So normally I would like say edit in the evening, even on holiday time, like instead of doing that, I was just watching J-dramas kind of thing. So that's why nothing really got done. But my mind was so full of scenarios that haven't happened, things that could happen. Then I had a really bad one New Year's Day. And then I was like, you know what? Like this is not working anymore. Like I'm not coping. I, I can't because it's actually been really bad since May last year, my mental health. This is also why like I've really struggled with YouTube, I think, because I just haven't had the capacity to be able to think about it, do it, have the energy for it even because I've been so tired. So I went back to the GP. So as a side note to this, I had mentioned to the same doctor, I said, oh, you know, I'm just not sure about my e-citalopram anymore. Like I'm just, I feel that it's not working, but I'm also not really sure. He said, well, you saw the endocrinologist, read her letter. Have you read it yet? I said, no, but like, I don't really like it. So I don't really read the letter and I just kind of avoided it for like nine months. So I finally read the letter. <laughs> so she got quite good information here. And then I messaged Annabelle, and if you don't know Annabelle, Annabelle is a cherry cherry long time subscriber to this channel and supporter, and she's actually a doctor. And I said, I'm thinking of changing my SSRIs, what do you think? So she gave me all this information. So I read through my endocrinologist letter, I read through information from Annabelle, and then I went to the doctor and I was like, yeah, so I definitely need to change my medication. And I actually read the letter, doc. I actually read the letter. He was like, I don't you? I was like, yeah, I did. So I think we need to go with her advice, which I should have done nine months ago, but I did so there you go. Mm. Mm, it's just so good. So I said to him in the letter, she suggests I change from Escitalopram to Venlafaxine. He said, do you want to do that? I said, yes, please. So I've done a week so far my venlafaxine at 75 and i have it right here so today is monday so we take our monday pill so let's take our little antidepressant together <coughs> so that happened and you know what i'm feeling really good my brain has not been quiet for maybe like a year so that brings us to january i have such good news i've been editing the video will already be up by this time so by this by the time this video is up the video i'm talking about will already be up and I've actually been like, oh, cool, yeah, let's edit. Wee! I haven't been like that in a year. It's crazy. Do you know what I also don't like, though, is when they say, oh, all you gotta do is, like, go to the gym. Go, and what? Go to the gym, lift some weights, do a little bit of cardio. And what, that's gonna fix my problem? If 20 milligrams of Eastside Tailpan doesn't fix my problems, I don't think gym's gonna fix my problems. Just putting it out there. I don't like people say that. I don't like it. And I got new comic books. New manga, didn't I? By this time, you would have already seen it because we've already been up. I got new manga and I've got 145 new manga to read. It's very exciting. And I got new heart pants. They've got red hearts on like a pink denim jean, high waisted, a little bit flared, um, and cropped. And they're 50% off. <laughs> because I don't buy anything full price these days. It's not happening, you know? It's just not gonna happen. What can I say? What can I buy full price? during this economic situation why would i do that to myself please 
The only full price I paid recently is... Oh, like groceries. <laughs> and, oh, my loves. I am thinking of merchandise, but not typical YouTuber merch. I tried to do typical YouTuber merch. It did not work out for me. I said to myself, would I wear this? And I couldn't say yes at the time. So I kind of gave up on merch for a period of time, but I love clothes. I love sewing. I'm going back to sewing class. I love clothing. I love the feel it gives me. Like I love stuff like this, but I personally prefer cute at home wear that just makes me feel really comfy, but cute and like lots of pink. This is not that comfy just because I've got a big sleeve and neck moment. But anyway, so because I've now had the capacity in my mind, heaven I, I have been doing some little pitta patter, little tippity typity with a little brand that I kind of want to get into. It's a little bit of drawing here and there and stuff. And the name is really cute and I like it a lot and I'm actually quite excited for it. But it will have nothing to do with ASMR or this channel. It's just a standalone brand on its own. Like I don't want to do merch that has an ASMR theme to it or like me because that's just not that interesting like so when I'm like drawing stuff I'm like would I wear that and if I go to myself yeah I would wear that then I think I'm on because I didn't do graphic design I didn't do graphic design I wish I did graphic design I don't do it. so I don't really know what I'm doing but I have taste of some sort some would say not great some would say great you know because it's all subjective I mean, I would love to have help, but I literally aren't earning any money from YouTube anymore because I don't post enough. So there is that. So I don't have that much money, so I'm just kind of working with what I have, but I would love to be able to actually get like a graphic designer to help me. And that's my story. That's my update with my Ogurato stop. Isn't that so good? Doesn't that just explain everything now? Oh, my loves, that's it. It was really long, I'm sorry. But I hope that makes sense. And thanks for listening to me. And I'm going to see you very soon, okay? I hope you're doing okay. Let me know. How's everything been? What's been going on? I have a runny nose. Mm, it's still recording. That's good. I always get nervous that it's just going to turn off on its own. Mmm. <laughs> mmm.